morning. Today we're going to work on how can proportions help you decide whether things are fair. So I'd like to have two volunteers come up to the front, please. And what I want to know is, if I give Alex eight tiles, and I give Oscar four tiles, the first thing I want to know is, what is the ratio of tiles that Alex has compared to what Oscar has? Eight to four. Eight to four, okay. Is there another way we can say that? Yeah? Two to one. Two to one, okay. And what about if we talked about the ratio of tiles that Oscar has compared to what Alex has? Cassie? Four to eight. Or? Two to one, or yeah, one to two. One to two, okay, great. Now, what if I went ahead and I handed Alex two more tiles? So now he has 10. If I wanted to keep that ratio the same, how many more tiles would I need to hand to Alex? Madison. One. Two. One more tile? Okay. Can someone explain why would we only need to give Oscar one more tile? Chaz? For every two that Alex gets, um, he gets one. Okay. Why does Oscar get one for every two that Alex gets? Because it's a two to one ratio. How many tiles do you have now, Alex? I have 10. And how many tiles do you have, Oscar? I have five. Okay, so if I give each of you two more tiles, is that fair? No, it's not fair. Why? Because you're not keeping the two to one ratio because you're giving them both the same amount when he's supposed to have, when Alex is supposed to have twice as many as Oscar. So now we're going to look at another problem that's up here on the board. And it says, on the first day, you pay $5 for two boxes of popcorn. The next day, you pay $7.50 for three boxes. Is that fair? Yes, it is fair. I'd like to see if we can show why it is fair, like Joey has told us. So if you can work together in your groups, see if you can come up with a proportion for this problem to show if indeed this is fair. Can somebody share with us the proportion they came up with and explain their proportion to us. And whether or not it does indeed show that this is a fair situation here. Um, for my proportion, I wrote $5 over $7.50 equals two boxes over three boxes because for every box it equals $2.50. Okay. So for every box equals $2.50, right, then two boxes is $5. And then three boxes would be? $7.50. Excellent. So that was fair. Excellent. Okay. What I'd like for you to do now, if I can have these two tables right here work on problem B, and these two tables here work on problem C. Read that problem and then see if you can write the proportion and use that to decide is it fair or is it not fair? So thinking about that problem, okay, you need to first figure out what might the proportion be to decide whether or not that would be a fair situation. Okay? I don't think it's fair. You don't think it's fair? Okay. So see if you guys can come up with the proportion. One equals 75. One mile equals 75 calories. <coughs> okay. As I was walking around, I saw a lot of you doing some really great things. So what I'd like for you to do is I'd like someone from either this group or this group that did problem B to go up to the board and explain to us that pr the proportion that you came up with. So on the first day, um, the family drove three hours and, and they had 135 miles. On the second day, the family drove five hours and had 200 miles. And so for every hour, they drove 40 miles. Excellent, Katie. Thank you. So the question is then, is that situation fair or not fair? Asia. 
go up to the board and explain their proportion. Okay, so for the first day, you walked four miles and burned 300 calories. And for the second day, you walked three miles and burned 225 calories. Um, so my group found out that for each mile, you burn 75 calories. Now that both Katie and Asia have gone up and written their proportions, let's see how these proportions helped us or why they help us decide if something is fair or not fair. Megan. The ratios were not equal um, oh. when it wasn't fair. Okay. And then in Asia's, who can explain to us how Asia's proportion help us decide? Kimberly. Well, the ratios were equal, so that determined why it was fair. As you can see, when we use these proportions, like both Megan and Kimberly have explained, when those two ratios are equal to each other, we can decide that a situation is fair. And when they're not equal to each other, then we know that a situation is not fair. Okay.